Jury selection was up first. Eight jurors were selected out of a pool of 27. It took time to ensure none of the eight were related to victims of the stabbings, to witnesses, or to lawyers. Throughout the next two and a half weeks, 32 witnesses from the RCMP, Corrections Canada, the Parole Board, pathologists, and victims will testify. Lawyer Keith Brown represents the James Smith Cree Nation. He says there are two things that the inquest will accomplish. So that's the first thing they do is they determine cause of death uh, and uh, other uh, other things related to the specific deaths themselves. And then the second thing they do, as I mentioned, is they have the potential to generate recommendations to prevent future deaths and in, in, uh, f- future similar deaths. Brown says James Smith members want to see three major recommendations. The first is their own policing. Second, reforms within corrections. And third, better communication between corrections, the parole board, and First Nations like James Smith. It doesn't generate binding requirements for the government to follow. So what that means is that whatever comes out of the inquest, the government, both federal and provincial, are really going to have to step up to the plate to ensure that these recommendations are actually implemented. RCMP Major Crime Sergeant Robin Zetner was on the stand this afternoon. The RCMP is expected to provide details on what exactly happened prior, during, and after the stabbings. Rachel May, APTN National News, Saskatoon.